एवरीवन दिस इज श्रुति फ्रॉम डेबी लर्निंग टीम एंड टुडे आई वांटेड टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक अ कैरेक्टर डिजाइनर गेम इन स्क्रैच बेसिकली इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट वेयर द प्लेयर कैन कस्टमाइज देयर ओन कैरेक्टर ऑफ व्हाट एवर टाइप इफ यू हैव एवर सीन अ गेम दैट्स लाइक मेक योर ओन कपकेक और डिजाइन योर ओन फॉक्स दिस इज दैट टाइप ऑफ गेम एंड बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू मेक योर ओन गेम लाइक दिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट लेट्स पिक व्हाट यू वांट टू बी द थीम ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट Do you want to design your own dog game or design your own fish, design your own dragon or any outfit? It can be anything you want. As an example, I'm going to make your create your own dog game, but this video will work no matter what theme you will pick. So first, we are going to draw one version of character in our game. If you haven't drawn much in Scratch or you don't really enjoy drawing, don't worry, I'm going to show you a drawing style that's really easy to do and actually doesn't require any drawing experience. To draw a character, I'll hover over, choose a sprite, and click Paint. Here's a drawing style I find really easy to use. It's basically make the character out of simple circles. I am making a dog, so I'll click on the circle tool and drag out an ovalish circle to be the head. Then I'll click on the purple square to change the color to black. Now I'm going to draw a small circle for the eyes. One thing I would like to do is once I have drawn the first eye, I'll click on it and I'll click copy and then click paste. Now I have a second eye, which I can just put over here. So I could have a purple dog in my game, but I think I want the dog's fur to be brown. So to change the color of the circle, I just want to click on this and select it and then click this square again. To make a brown color, I'll switch the color up here to something in the orange section of the rainbow, and then change the brightness to get a darker shade of brown. Okay, so now I want to give the dog floppy ears. How do you make shapes that are in circles, though? What you can do is make a circle with the circle tool, and then click on the point editing tool. You can click and drag on these points to mold the shape into shape you want. To make floppy ears I'll drag this point over here and maybe this goes over here. I can also click on a point and move these arrows to control the shape around that point. So that's how I draw shapes that are in circles. I started with a circle and then move the points a little bit. Now that I have drawn one ear I will click on it and just like the eyes I will click on copy and then paste. Now I have a second ear too and I can also click flip horizontal so that it's pointing in this direction. Now I'll set the color to pink and draw a circle to give my dog a nose. I'll use the eye dropper tool to get the same color I use for the head and draw a circle for the body. I'll drag these points down a little bit so it looks like it's sitting down and then I'll give a dog a tail. For that I'll have to make a circle and then move this point this way and move this. Okay so we have drawn one version of our character. Of course you don't have to draw what I did. It can tot it can totally have different parts. You could have one of the parts to be the donut and be other be the frosting on the donut. One can be the cat's eyes on the dog's face. Anything you want it's your game, right? So can you make all these shapes out of really simple circles and rectangles? So how do we make this character designer game when the player can actually modify the character? See, you see how the character is made up of different parts. I'm going to take each of these parts and put it in its own sprite, like a sprite for the ears and a sprite for the tail. Then the player will be able to mix and match them. Here's how you do that. Pick one thing that's going to be part of your character. For me, the tail will be one part. I'll select the tail. Click copy, then move over the choose a sprite and click paint to paint a new spirit. Then I click paste. There you go. Now you have a sprite that with just the tail. I'll name this sprite tail. Let's do that for all the other parts too. I'll go back to my base character. I want both ears to be one part. To cap to copy them both, I can click on one ear, then hold down shift. While holding down shift, I'll click on the other ear to select both. Then I'll press copy, make a new sprite, and click paste. There you go. I call this sprite as my ears. I'll select the eyes and the nose and copy them and make that be the face. And I'll copy the head and body and make that to be a body. Oh, am I going to pick a background also? No. 
you can use any background you want i'll use this sprite okay now so i have all the parts of the character as individual sprites let's hide the base character we don't need it anymore now that we have all the pieces we want to make all these pieces to go to the same spot we don't want the ears over there right and here's how i do that i click on this sprites click the body and make it go to a certain position like 0 0 i'll make it go when the green flag is clicked for each of the other pieces like the tail i'll make the piece go to the body when the green flag is clicked now that the tail goes to the same spot as the body i'll give the same code to all the pieces okay the one problem is that the face is behind the body for any sprite that you want to be at the front you just need to give this code go to front layer okay i want the tail to be behind the body so i'll give the code go to back layer okay we have all our pieces starting in the same spot now comes the really fun part we get to draw all the different options that the player can choose from i'll go to the ears add a new costume draw a pair of pointy ears as another option for the dog i'll start with circle and then move these points down i click copy and then paste i can also flip it this way sometime i need to move them so that they are positioned correctly on the head i can also add different color options if i duplicate this costume i can set the ears to different color you can have whatever color you want purple ears blue eyes pink mouth or anything you want at the end of the day it's your game so design it in your way now let's make it so that the player can actually switch between the ears so if we go to the coat tab we can use that the next costume block to switch between them and how about we make it to do that when the ears are clicked so now so now the player can click on the ears to change them you can basically do this with all the different pieces let's design a few other options for the body maybe i'll switch the color to different shade of brown and add a white patch on the belly for the body i'll also make it go on the next costume when the sprite is clicked there you go now you have a game where the player can customize their character If you don't feel like drawing I'll show you another way of doing this doesn't take any drawing at all you can always pick a base sprite from the sprite library maybe I'll pick the penguin we have a lot of sprites that are items of clothing you can find them in the fashion category I'll choose the party hat and add that then you can make this item change costume when you click it now I can customize my little penguin you can you can still totally make this kind of project even if you don't feel like drawing So yeah that's what I wanted to show you guys today I hope you have fun making character designer projects I cannot wait to see yours until I meet again and yes if you have any doubts or queries please don't forget to drop in the comment section until I meet you guys again bye